I'll turn over the hands of Pastor John E. Hopkins. Can we say words of amen? congregation and those who are watching online. Can we just bring us to God Amen. It's a blessing to be able to minister the word across the, the land, the airways, and different countries. Praise the Lord. But who sort of had the ear to hear? Let him hear what the Spirit is saying in the church. Amen. You just reach somebody along your way. Amen. Then your living will not be in vain. Amen? Amen. So that's what our objective is, to reach somebody. Amen. When we never meet them over here, we will see them over there. Amen. In the land of glory, the land where the Lord has prepared a place for us. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm living to live again. What about you? Amen. I know that... Uh, my time here and your time here is just for a, a moment. So we may, must, must make do with the moment that we have available down here. Amen? Amen. So when we leave this place, we've got a mansion over yonder. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So we thank God for all things right now. And we want to talk to just a few minutes about confidence. I deal with a lot of the word confidence because it is so needful for the day to know about confidence. Not that you don't know, but to listen, let you listen to it again lest you forget. Amen? Amen. Because as I always said, that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God, which is the word of God. Amen. And the more you hear it over and over again, the more faith will settle in your cranial cavity and in, as well as your spirit. Amen. Because you cannot just hear it one time and think faith's going to come. You've got to hear it over and over Amen. again. The Bible says that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. Is that right? Amen. We've got to learn to hear it over and over again. Now, sometimes it gets tiring sometimes to hear the same thing over and over again, but uh, unless you forget. Amen? Amen. And you know, Jesus did that. He talked to Sermon on the Mountaintop and he had the same message where he went. Amen. He may have tweaked it just a little bit here and there, but in the same message. 
Amen. about the love of God Amen. and how God wants to bless you and God wants you to be a blessing to others. He wants you to treat people like you want them to treat you. Is that right? Amen. That came back to the Old Testament. Amen. So there is nothing new on the sun about the Word of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So we want to talk just a few minutes about that the show of confidence. Praise the Lord. We must have confidence. And I was looking at that word and it said that the actually which says having a strong belief or full assurance, sure confidence of fulfillment. Praise the Lord. Sure of oneself having uh, no uncertainty about one's own ability correctness and successfulness, self-confidence and bold. Now these are traits that one should have in being confident. Is that right? Amen. Amen. But it must be balanced when you have this confidence, especially as a Christian, praise the Lord. And really as a non-Christian, praise the Lord. Is that right? Amen. Because it can be overwhelming and people call it an arrogance on your part. Is that right? Amen. Yeah. And I want to just talk just a few minutes and use some scriptures to talk about this confidence because we hear a lot of that going on in this day and time in which we live in. And uh, it would be good for us to balance it out. Amen. I, mean, I remember years ago when one of my sons was going to school, praise the Lord, and uh, his mother used to, well, she did it to all of the boys and had a little uh, uh, saying that she would use to, uh, for them, gave them, as they was proceeding on to go to school. Amen. It was a long session. Amen. Praise the Lord. But she took time out and they sat there attentively and listened to what she was saying. And after they heard it over and over and over again, faith come by hearing. Amen. And they were just little rascals, uh, little guys then. And uh, they believed in what they heard. You know, people do believe in what they hear, whether it be negative or positive. Is that right? Amen. Amen. It's like our little granddaughter, that, that little rascal, she can hear and she, she'll mimic what she hears. Amen. And she doesn't forget. Amen. And she'll let you know at times uh, what you have said over Amen. the course of time. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Amen. It's on our jobs or our own, in the supermarket. We hear things going on. And we'll mimic our, our talk about what we heard, or rather on the TV screen. Praise the Lord. But as we look at the lesson today and we talk about it, amen, that to have strong belief and full assurance, we're talking in line with the Word of God. Amen. That our life is hidden in Christ Jesus. And, and it's only what we do for Christ is going to last. Amen. Is that right? Amen. 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 It's a treasure in knowing the devices and, of ideals and concepts. Is that right? Amen. About life. We should know something. We can't have our head, head in the sand and think that all is going to be well in our lives. That's right. We must get exposed to our environment. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. If you're in a small area and that's all you deal with, you're going to be a, a, a victim of those small environment that you're in. Amen. Amen. We, my daughter used to have, I'll get to the word in a minute. Mm -hmm. My daughter used to have some fish. If anybody knows anything about fish, they are. It's an upkeep on them. You got a major upkeep. Is that right? Amen. Yeah. But fish will only uh, grow according to their environment. Amen. Praise the Lord. They can't grow no more. But when they get out of that environment and get into something bigger, they will excel. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So my idea, my, my, my job is to for you to uh, grow beyond your little environment. Well, some people say, oh, I just like staying around a little place, a little town. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Uh, but expose yourself to more things 
if you're able to. Amen. Some people are exposed to something a whole lot of stuff and they're not fully able to grasp hold of it and they lose sight of life. And they get tied up in a lot of things along life's journey that will hurt them because they did not have a root. It was established to be able to be exposed to more things around yeah. and the things around took over them in their yeah. lives. Is that right? Do you understand Amen. what I'm saying? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. But we as children of God should know about things in life so we may be to address them when the issues of life comes our way. Don't say, well, I'll have to wait till I get back to church and and find out what to say to you next. That's wrong. This is why the Bible says, I always say it, study to show thyself approved. Is that right? Amen. Yeah. You better study the Bible because you're going to be meeting with a lot of challenges where you're at. Amen. And the devil knows how to try to knock you off your feet. But if you have some ability Amen. of the Word of God, God will deal with you whenever someone tries to mess with you. Amen. I know that's right. Amen. Praise the Lord. So don't get fearful about life or, or what things are going on around. If people try to derail you, <laughs> but they can't touch you Amen. if you know God. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. I know that's right. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Assurance. Praise the Lord. Assurance. We must be assured that what we believe in is real. Is that right? Amen. So we're not if we don't we're not sure what we believe in, uh, we may have problems. And we will have problems. Amen. Is that right? Yeah. I know that's right. You know, you better know what you're talking about. Because the devil out there, he'll test you. I know that's right. He'll make you he'll, he'll drive and make you go in the corner and sit there. Ain't no devil gonna make me go in the corner and sit. Amen. I don't care how big and how bad he is or what. Amen. Because I got confidence in knowing that the God that I serve is able, fully able, to protect me. Amen. 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 Well, let's get a few scriptures here to touch bases with to uh, see where we're coming from or what we're talking about. Amen. Because it's good to know that uh, we must be confident. Now, you see, there is a lot of false confidence, you know, and we deal with a lot of that in the day we live in. A lot of people that focus on human beings' uh, confidence. Is that right? Amen. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, many they tr people trust in other people. And I, 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 I believe in people like you believe in people. Is that right? Amen. Yeah. But I'm not going to say I can take it to the bank when he says something. Because I know things happen. Is that right? Amen. They happen where sometimes you get derailed a little bit and something comes up where you just can't meet what you, what you, had, you said you're going to do. And boy, people will lose it. They will lose it. I remember a case of work. I'm going to talk about this word here. I got these my little illustrations, praise the Lord. And this one time I was, uh, this one lady who I, I love very dearly, she's an older lady. Well, yeah, well, I'll talk about that one right now. <laughs> and uh, it's about time we got ready to burn this mortgage on this place. This place which you're sitting in right now. It's been years ago. And uh, I told her, I worked at the fire department at the time. And uh, I told her, yeah, I'll take care of that last, the last payment to pay for this place. Amen. It's been years ago. We're talking about years ago, about at least 40 years ago. Amen. Praise the Lord. And she said, because uh, we didn't have any people around, and they were scarce, no one really wanted to help us out around here. They wanted to see it go down, they didn't want to see it stay up. Amen. But anyway, she said to me, said, uh, called me Elder Hopkins. I was only about my 20s, but people said, well, I call him the Elder. He's 20 something. He's 20 some years old. I was about 23, 24 years old. I've become an ordained elder. In the church that I was affiliated with, we call them ministers and elders. When you got to the elder court, that means you were ordained. You could do anything. I could preach, bury, Amen. 
raise you, whatever you can do, I can do it. <laughs> Dedicate you. Amen. I was only 23 years old. Amen. Somewhere in that God. And uh, she said, uh, I knew she was struggling trying to maintain it because things happen with service only every third Sunday to, to get things together. Whatever it took up then, they go and pay to make the payments. She was talking. I said, well, you know what? I'm bold now. I was working there had a little wife, and I think I had about one kid, one child then, Chris, maybe Jason. And uh, I said, uh, okay, I'll take care of that last payment for you. Okay. And at that time, something came up. Something came up. I had every intention to take care of it, but something came up. And I told her, I said, you know, something that came up, I won't be able to tell Oh, but you promised. Oh, man, she laid it on me heavy. I, I mean, she's, I mean, she's on my cage like white on rice, if y'all know what that means. Hey, Amen. Praise the Lord. And so I had to go and re redirect things and get that thing together because I had promised I was going to take care of it. And she had full assurance in me and everything. And boy, when I said I couldn't, she, oh my God. That was worse than IRS coming at me. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. But I said, you know what? I'm going to take care of it. And I took care of it. I rerouted some more things and, and, uh, and, and went on with that and got together. But she had assurance, assurance in me, confidence in me, that I was going to do it. But sometimes things happen that way. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So therefore, some people have false confidence in other people. Amen. Knowing that, uh, and they say, well, he's going to do it. He said he's going to do it. Well, he means to do it. Amen. He wants to do it. Amen. But some people have so much confidence that they have trust in them. That's right. No matter what comes to go, they got more trust in them than they do out in the Bible, in God. That's right. And you should never have more trust in an individual than you have in God. Amen. I know that's right. Amen. I know that's right. Praise the Lord. And it's misdirected, praise the Lord, because you're trusting them more than you're trusting God. But God don't want you to be that way. Amen. You can have trust in them, but believe God because God's the one that's going to do the in the end. He's going to make, touch their hearts to make vision for you. Amen. Amen. And people trust in, praise the Lord, in their, their strength. People are so bold about the way who how they feel and how who they are. They think that and man, I know. I see them walking down the street at nighttime, past midnight, walking there bold. Got their little dog on their leash. You've probably seen that sometime if you're out around midnight. Only when I'm out at midnight, cause I gotta go to some old job at midnight. Other than that, I wouldn't be out at all. I'd be sleeping. Amen. And people have their, their, their little trust in them and, and think that hey, praise the Lord, I know. I'll be all right because so and so's big. He's robust. He he knows kung fu. He can do this. He can do that. <clears throat> like I told one individual one time, I said, "Yeah, the people don't use kung fu no more. <laughs> they use what they call a gun, Amen. a weapon. They'll let you do all kind of you all, all all that stuff and they let you get through that. And then they use that gun. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. But the Bible says in Jeremiah the seventeenth chapter, the five fifth verse to the sixth verse, when I go there. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Jehovah said, Curses the man who trusts in man and makes the flesh his arm, whose heart depart from Jehovah. He shall be like the shrub in the desert. He shall be the east and shall not see when he comes, what good comes, but shall inhabit the Porch places of the wilderness, the uninhabited solid land. You can't trust in man. Amen. Amen. Mud can mess you up every time. Amen, Principal. I know Amen. that's right. I've been there. I've trusted people. <coughs> and one time, I don't know why I got to use a lot of illustrations, but that's all right with me. Amen. I hope it's all right with you, but I like hearing them anyway. Go ahead and talk Amen. about it. It just come up every now and then when I used to what went through, praise the Lord. I got a few things to talk about. John Oster ain't the only one that got some stories to well. tell. I can tell some. I got some too, well. some experiences. Like you have some. Amen. This one guy was coming down here. That's when I first came to Mexico. I want to pitch a tent down here. I got to tell by my own. Can't talk about yours because you might get upset and roll your eyes at me and get eyes get stuck in the back of your head. 
But I can talk about my experience, praise the Lord. This one guy, I knew nothing about how to pitch a tent. I heard a lot about how Paul pitched tents and what have you and did all that in the Old Testament. But this guy, I wanted to pitch a tent because, I, you know, I heard that if you pitch a tent, people start coming when you pitch a tent. They get excited about it. Okay? And uh, I heard about a place in St. Louis on grab bars that had tents. I had an old van. And I went down to St. Louis. And uh, I don't know how I got the money together, but I got some money together for that tent. And uh, I brought it back down here, and this one guy said he was going to help me put that tent up. But here's one thing I realized. I learned this way back here when I was in my 20s. It have been way back here a little bit ahead <laughs> Praise the Lord. That always have a second line of defense. Don't go with one thing only. Always have one or two A, B, and C plan to whatever you do. I learned at an early age. And I asked that guy at Grab Wars at that tent place, by the way, how, can you just draw me a diagram of how to pitch a tent? Because this is my first time doing that. So, okay, sir, I'll do it. Well, he got it. Gave him so much money for this big tent. And so he said, here's the way you do it. He put a diagram. That's all I got to do is see something. He put, it, he put it out there and showed me how to pitch it, what have you. And I came back and this guy said, he's going to help me out. That guy went south. Got about everything he did and was going to do for me. And then something else came up and he got messed up. And there I was left with this big tent. I had this land over here. So I got my little piece of paper out <laughs> and looked it over and took my time. And my kids are so young, they couldn't help me at all. I did it all myself. Nobody around would help me. They looked at me, but they wouldn't help me. I was on my own. Amen. Praise the Lord. It was all right. Because I, I didn't ask nobody to do it. If they want to come free, but a lot of people want money when they do things for you anyway. I can't blame them. I probably want some money too. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But anyway, I took my staff time and rolled out like the guy told me to and put out the leaf stump of the boards and lumber. And I took my time and pitched that tent and got it together. Because I knew that if I do it right, God will show me how to do it for prayer. Amen. Amen. I had assurance in him at a young age. Do you want to be old to, to learn about uh, the assurance and confidence that comes in God? Amen. Just know what God works if He does for others, He'll do it for you. Amen. Amen. With His arms wide open, he'll, he'll accommodate you. Amen. Trust in the Lord. Amen, brother. Fear the Lord. Amen. He will give you peace. Amen. Amen. Don't, it says here, the Bible says, curse the man who trusts the man. He, you're cursed because you don't know what that man's going to do, what's in his head. He may, he, right now he may think all is well and he's got a mind to help you up, but something may occur in, in the course of time. <coughs> is that right? Amen. Amen. So we got to learn to have confidence in God. Amen. And having confidence in God, God will never let you down. Amen. Praise I know Lord. that's right. I know Amen. that's right. Amen. Amen. We, we, well, our confidence must be grounded in God, knowing that He will not disappoint you at any given Amen. time. Praise Him. I know that's right. Praise Him. Amen. Praise the Lord. It doesn't mean nothing but having street smarts. You got to trust in Jehovah. Amen. In the course of life, they call it the, uh, uh, what do they call it? Part knocks of time. Amen. I can't remember what they say. They got another name for it. I don't have it around the head right now. Amen. But learning about things in the world, you learn it over a course of time. I can't remember the little verbiage I'm going to use. But anyway, but the Bible says that trust in the Lord, Jehovah will, will with all your heart. You know where that scripture found that in Proverbs? Amen. And lean not to your understanding in all your ways and knowledge, and he will direct your path. God will direct your path if you just learn to trust in Him. Amen. Don't trust in your little intellect that you learn from 
from what's going on around you. It's good to have that. But you can't believe everything you hear from people around you because they will mislead you. Amen. Amen. Amen praise the Lord. And you'll learn that over the course of time through trial and error. Amen. I know that's right. But the Bible says in, in, in Proverbs, trust in the Lord, Jehovah, with all your heart. Don't give no place for the devil. Know that God will protect you. Amen. If you're making messing up, God will show you how to get out of that mess. Amen. We've all messed up sometime Amen. or another. Amen. Is that right? Amen. If somebody if you want to be honest about it, you got somebody who says, no, I've never messed up. I've never messed up in nothing. You just lied right there. You need to ask somebody to pray for you. Amen. We all messed up. We're Amen. human beings. But the good news is you don't have to stay messed Amen. up. Amen. The Bible says. Confess your faults to him. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Confess your faults to him. He'll forgive you of your sins. Right. And what our message. So sometimes we don't have sin, we got weights. Well, I think we thought was God saying it, it wasn't God, it was a weight put upon us that we, we, we need to get out of it. We need to put ourselves in, we need to get out of it. Amen. I remember a case of point, I, I used to have a little job around. I used to be an entrepreneur around here Amen. when I first came here. I had all kinds of jobs. I got, some, I got so excited about jobs, I took a whole everything. But one thing I forgot to do was pace myself. I had too many jobs going on, I had to, I had to, eventually I had to let some of them down. I say I can't do this. One lady got all upset about one thing, talking about what this other person could do. I said, you know what? It didn't take too much anyway. I said, you know what? You could, I tell you what, since that lady knows how to do this better than I do, she needs to do this. I made a lady some bad. She said, how much do I owe you? I said, you owe me such a spell. I gave my money. I went on by my business. Never did turn around and look back. Amen, praise the Lord. But you got to learn to pace yourself in this way, this Amen. walk with Christ. Amen. And then over, over trot yourself. Amen. Take yourself to the Bible. My, my grandfather used to say this all the time to me. He was my pastor. I only had two pastors, three pastors in my lifetime. And he said, uh, 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 Take this six months out and mind your own business. And six months stay out of other people's business. And then you sing the song. You better mind what you're talking about. Because you've got to give a day in judgment for what you're doing down here. He's have a good turn. Amen. Praise the Lord. Like a little hope. And just, just play it like that. He just played his guitar. He was doing good about that. Amen. Could pick a little rascal. Amen. But he talked to me about this. And what he was saying was, trust in the Lord. Amen. With all your heart. And don't worry about people around here because people around here will mess you up. That's right. And some people fall on the wayside because of people that what someone said to them and it derailed them because they put confidence in an individual. Amen. 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 In our political run, we got confidence in certain individuals. Those people can't help you out. Amen. They can only do so much. That's right. They'll talk your talk. And when they get in office, they'll do something different. That's right. Your trust doesn't be in God. Amen. Amen. The Bible trust in Jehovah with all your heart and lean not to your understanding. I don't care how much intellect you have, how many degrees you have. Don't lean to that. It's good to have that in place. And you'll need it. Amen. It says, lean not to your understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him, God Almighty, and he will direct your path. God will show you how to do it. Well, Paul said that. I can it all done. Amen. I know about this. I know how to speak in several different languages. I stood at the knees of the, the greatest people around. But I can it all done. Amen. That I may know him. Amen. Praise the Lord. That I may know God and what He stands for. I want to know Him. Yeah. Praise Lord. We need to know Him personally for ourselves. Amen. It's good to hear what others have done, how they experience things, but it's good for us to know Him yeah. as He really is. Praise Him. He's a friend of mine. Praise Him. He's there to give me strength. He's the guy to show me the way. My wife is saying so, Lord, show me the way. Amen. Amen. We need God to show us the way. Amen. All of us is an assurance in knowing that we got confidence in the Almighty God. Amen. 
Amen. That he's there to aid us. Yes. When we come to the crossroads of life and we don't know which way to go, God will step in and show yes. us Amen. the way. Can you tell us the praise of the Lord? Praise, praise the, the Lord. Lord. Lean not to him and say, all your ways acknowledge him. He will direct your path. Amen. I know that's to be true. Amen. I know that they talk about what happened in days of old. That's no that doesn't mean a thing to me. Bible says he's the same yesterday. Amen. Today and yes. forevermore. What he done for Moses, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Hey, he can do for John. Amen. Today. Amen. He can do for you today. Amen. Which all you gotta do is have the assurance and knowing that he's there to help you out. And this is not a fairy tale being written. This is real life business. Amen. I know what he can do. I tried him. And he's the best thing that ever happened. Amen. 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 Can't some of us will praise the Lord. Praise praise the Lord. Lord. Amen. Some people put trust in their own wallets. Their money. That money going to soon cease. You heard about what the Bible says about that old rich not hid in the Bible. I shouldn't call it not hid. The rich fool in the Bible. That's even worse, isn't it? Man was so rich he didn't know what to do with all that money. Amen. Didn't want to share it with nobody. I'm going to build me another barn. You remember that case of born in the Bible? Amen. See, these things are not just stories being told. This is examples. Just tell you something. Don't be self-centered. All yourself. The right. guy said, right, what I'll do, what I'll do, I'll build me another board. I'll make this thing happen where I'll have two, I'll have a bigger board. And the word come back to that food this night. That souls will require you. So self-centered, and I want to share it a little bit. You don't share it all. People get that messed up. God don't want you to give it all away. Amen. Use common sense. Amen. Ain't no way I'm going to give all whatever I have, I have away, all away. Amen. Ain't nobody Amen. that important. What about you? Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. We got to learn to use common sense. That's where that common sense comes in place. Is. Common sense. Amen. With the Lord on your side. Some people in, in the church don't have common sense anymore. Amen. Amen. They think everybody's gone is wrong, gone to hell in the handbasket. Everybody ain't going to hell in the handbasket. Amen. Somebody's doing right. That's right. Jeremiah thought, was that Jeremiah? No, that was you know, it was one of the prophets. Elijah. Elijah. Thought that he was the only one met around here that really, that really was doing right with God. I, I, I ran across a person like that in this town here. He says, there's only three people that are living right down here. Uh, four people. Uh, my wife, your wife, me, and you. <laughs> I said, this guy here, my nigga, can be. This is an, elder, an older gentleman talking the story. I just listen to him talk. You know, sometimes you can't convince nobody. Right. You just let them go ahead and talk. Sooner or later, they'll, 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 it'll, it'll come full circle. And they'll realize what they said was wrong. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Trusting in the Lord. You know who you are in Christ. You, you, know, you know you're not the only one living right. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Until they got Solomon's, uh, not Solomon, uh, 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 praise the Lord. Was that Abraham's kid? Uh, what was it? Lot. Well, whose kid was that? His nephew, praise the Lord, out of that place, that destructive place. They didn't destroy that place. Amen. Amen, praise the Lord. That's the only case in point where I said, and it was more than one person. It was he, Abraham, a son, his, his uh, nephew, and his family. When they got them out, then they destroyed. So that lets me know this place ain't going nowhere. We're here. Amen. you here. Amen, praise the Lord. You put your trust in God. You got your confidence in God, knowing that God will protect you day and out. Praise the Lord. 724. Praise Amen. the Lord. That's what I tell y'all all the time that no matter where you go, as long as you put your trust in God, God will protect you. I don't care what's going on around about you. Amen. I faced the other night going to a place where they were, oh, it's getting crazy in this one there neighborhood. I knew when I started going that way, everything would fall in place. Praise the Lord. I had no I had no trouble. I had no problems. And they have all kinds of problems at that one area. Got off work and drive right straight through there. All was well. No bullets were flying, nothing was flying. I was in good shape because God is on my side. Amen. Amen. So when you're out late at night, God will protect you. Amen. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. 
and lean not to your understanding, but in all the ways of knowledge, and he will direct your path. And then I was talking about this here, uh, trusting your wallet. Hey, don't, hey, your bank account is soon fading. Well, you know what happened? Uh, oh, eight. Y'all remember that? Amen. The old eight crash. Better in old nine when it really took place. What was happening eight and then it went on to old nine. And everybody was looking like, I don't know what, they lost all kind of money. Amen. A lot of them put their trust in the confidence of their money. It was a life savings. Amen. They, some went under. Some killed themselves. That's right. Amen. Praise the Lord. But you know, Money, you can regain it back again. Take a little bit longer, but it'll come back again. Amen. Amen. But don't put your trust in that money only, because that's where a lot of people mess up, and they just go completely down. They got trust in these jobs around here, and the job was fading away. Oh, it was, they were doing all kind of eight thousand jobs a, a day or something like that. It was crazy. Amen. But then God began to step in. Amen. Somebody was praying. Amen. Amen. It didn't just happen because somebody's intellect. Somebody was praying. Amen. As even the Bible said, if my people should call by name would humble themselves and pray and seek my face, then they were going to hear it from home high. Somebody was praying. And somebody's still praying right now. Amen. Yeah. Because we get ready to go through another change up. And if nobody's praying, we're going to have problems. Amen. I'm going to pray. What about you? Amen. <laughs> I plan on praying. I don't care who gets in, I'm going to pray. Because they can only do so much. That's right. God will intervene. As I said way back when, we've seen this picture before. Is that right? Amen. Amen. <laughs> and I haven't forgotten none of those pictures. Amen, praise the Lord. And I know what I did back in those days. I know what I'm going to do right now. Can somebody say praise the Lord? Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Amen. So don't put your trust in man. Amen. The Bible says in Proverbs, uh, praise the Lord. In the 20, uh, 11th chapter, in the 28th verse, soon I'm going to go there, says, He who trusts in his riches shall fall, but, but the righteous shall flourish as the green leaf. Amen. He who trusts in his riches shall fall, but the righteous shall flourish as the green leaf. Amen, Prince of the Lord. We're going to flourish. Amen. We're going to come out better than we were before. Because we trust in God, and God's going to take care of us. Amen, Amen praise the Lord. Amen. Little becomes much when you put it in the master's hands. Amen. Amen. I don't care what you have, but little becomes much. Praise the Lord. Amen. I know that's right. Amen. Do you believe that? Amen. 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 The assurance in knowing that God's got our back. Praise the Lord. It is amazing knowing that, that God has your back regardless of what takes place. Amen. People getting all upset and, and uh, these guys making all kind of promises and what have you. Hey Amen. It don't mean nothing. Amen. Let them promise. Let them do what they want to do. God still going to take care of us. Amen. The Bible says in Psalm 146 and 3, it says, look what it says. Put not your trust in princes or in the sons of man in whom there is no help. Ha! <laughs> ha! There is no help. They ain't got no thing. They nothing to do with you. Amen. I mean, you're going to have to fend for yourself. Now, you want people in places that's going to do what's right. Well, if you got some people there, don't worry about them. God's going to take care of you as long as you take care of God. That's Amen. right. You trust in God and pray to God and keep yourself faithful in Him, and God will stay faithful to you. Amen. Amen. I know that's right. I know that's right. And no matter what comes and go, what turmoil happens here or there, if you got to trust in God, God's going to take care of you. Praise the Lord. Amen. You know that's right? Amen. They have all kinds of organizations. Organizations are good. But don't put no trust in those organizations. Amen. Amen. Put your trust and confidence in the organization of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. He's going he's gonna to be the one. He's going to be the one that's going to help you out. I know that's right. Amen. 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 So I looked at this message today, praise the Lord. And I got a whole lot of things to talk about, but my time is growing nigh. Amen. But I got a couple more scriptures I want to talk about. Praise the Lord. The Bible says in... <coughs> In Philippians, the first chapter, the sixth verse, it says, For I am confident of this very thing, that he who begun a good work in you will perfect it until the day of Jesus Christ. God's got some works to be done in your life. Amen. I'm confident, I'm assured of this very thing, that he who had begun a good work in me, you put your name in and make it personal, praise the Lord will perfect that unto, that unto the day of Jesus Christ. 
Amen. And then I like this other scripture in Philippians that says, I can do all things through him. I use that scripture a lot when, I, when I'm doing, doing some kind of work around the place or somewhere else. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Anything is available. If I take my time, God bless me to do it. Amen. Yeah. I know that's right. Do you believe that? Amen. Yeah. Hebrews 1, 4, chapter 16, verses, Therefore let us draw near with the, the confidence to the throne of grace so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. As you draw near to him, God will give you the assurance that I'll take care of you. Amen. Amen. The, key, the key point is drawing near to him. I, so we say, you got that one song I like, draw me near to him. Every time I hear it, it touches me. It's that, praise the Lord. Because I'm trying to draw near to him. Like a magnet going to the source. Amen. The source of life. Knowing that the source of life will give me more strength that I can't do it. I'm going to put my, 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 my mind and my, my faith to work in knowing that there is a God that will keep me together and he'll show me the way. You know, he created pictures for you to see how things are done. And I don't move a lot of things because I don't know what's going on yet. But when I see the picture, I go headlong into it. You know that? Yeah. It seems like sometimes I'm dragging my feet. Yeah, I'm dragging. I'm waiting for my helper to come. Yeah. When my help comes, he will always be with me, the Amen. Bible says. Always. Even to the end, praise the Lord. He's going to help you. Any situation you're going through right now, the help is going to be there. This is what it says again. Therefore, let us draw near with, a conf with the confidence and knowing that the, to the throne of grace so that we may receive mercy and find grace and merited favors. Amen, praise the Lord, in the time of need. God's going to bless us. Amen. He's going to take care of us. And get this with De Deuteronomy, the 31st chapter, the 6th verse says, Be strong and courageous, and do not be afraid or, or tremble at them. For the Lord your God is the one who goes with you. Get that? He's the one that goes with you. He will not fail you or forsake you. I like that. Y'all yeah, ain't getting nothing out of this, but I'm getting a whole lot out of this. You know, I was listening to uh, uh, Summerall talk about Amen. A lot of stuff that he learned from Smith Woodward. Amen. He said the way he spoke the word it became life. I want the word of God to become life in your life. Amen. And we can moan and we can all this entertain, but you got to get the word. The word is going to be the fine tune. Amen. The word is going to unite you. The spirit become flesh. It became activated. And the word of God should be activated daily Amen. in your life. But every time you hear that word, it should be activated in your life. It should it just ring a bell. A light should come on. It should take root. Amen. He that had an ear to hear, let the what? Let him hear. Let him hear. And see what the Spirit is saying to the church. Because the word's got a lot to say to you. Amen. And a lot to say to me. Amen. This is going to stick with you this week. Everything I'm talking about today, as I go through my course this week, all these scriptures will come back to me. At the midnight hour, like Paul and Silas, that's when the words start coming back home to me. And I'll begin to sing my little song. He brought me over. Amen, praise the Lord. Amen, Amen praise the Lord. Amen, praise the Lord. This word is right. Proverbs 3 and, and the 26th verse says, For the Lord will be your confidence. Praise the Lord. He will be your confidence. Keep your feet from being caught. Oh, that's heavy, isn't it? Amen, praise the Lord. The Lord will be your confidence and will keep your feet from being caught. And I need him to keep you together. Amen. I need him to keep me till the day yes, Lord. until it's time to go home. I want to know that there is a God that's got my back. Amen? Amen. Amen. Romans said, we're going to close out. We know that God causes all things to work together for the good of those who love God, and those who are called according to His purpose. We know that. I like that. We know that God calls all things to work together. Anything that's going on in your life, God's got a way out for you. 
God's got a remedy for any problem that occurs in your life. I don't care how big it all is. God's got a way of escaping. Because you put your trust and confidence in God, God's going to take care of you. Amen. It may be almost like that time when Stephen was being, being persecuted and stoned to death. It says that while he's being stoned to death, he looked up into the heavens. Praise the Lord. And there was Jesus stood up knowing that was one of his people. He gave the strength to go through. Knowing that, knowing that he was not alone. You're not alone with the challenges you're facing. There is a God who will protect you. In Jesus name. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this day. Thank you for each one that has it here to hear what the word says to them. And that they will know that there is a God who's got their back. There's someone that don't know you as the first for his sin, part of his sins. And say, Lord, forgive me. I need your help. I'm a sinner. I need to be saved. I want to accept you as my Savior. I heard that preacher talk today about confidence. I need confidence today, Lord. Will you come in my life and take out that sinful nature that I may live with you forever and ever in Jesus' name. Shake somebody's head and say, God bless you.